Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. This is the second in our part series of uh, Don't Do This. These are pictures that have been sent in with room forms and general email questions about their rooms. And we want to use them to illustrate, not to be critical, but to illustrate some of the falsehoods and setup that people go through here. It's, it's weird because I think sound, we can't see it. So if we can't see it, it doesn't matter what we do to it. I, I don't know the thinking behind some of these uh, setups and, and, and gear positioning and, and all of that, but you have to be careful because we're working in a visual dimension for something we can't see. So we have to keep that in mind. So sound takes on the characteristics of the surface area that it strikes. Strike glass, you change the frequency response of the sound. So that's a negative, and we don't want to do that. That's why glass sounds so bad, because it's actually an alteration of the frequency response. So shelves trap energy, resonance. You can, you can measure these. You can locate uh, frequency and amplitude between the shelves. We've done it many, many times. So one shelf in and of itself is not an issue. But look at when you get a bunch of things going and you get clutter. So you get a bunch of little things adding up and you're going to get a synergy that's going to impact resolution. Hard surface materials from the gear, reflections. Look at the face of all that gear. That's going to be hard surface, right? Shelf system between the speakers, not good. You're going to produce a series of reflections and resonances right between the speakers, which is a very sacred area. We call it free space. You don't want anything in there. Coffee table reflections, absolutely horrible in front of the listening position. So you're sitting here and you got a big coffee table here and a speaker here. So the energy strikes the table and goes right into your ears. Then you got the direct energy there. So that's a phase situation to begin with that you're producing. So you don't want anything like that. Keep that out of Keep gear out of the critical sound fields between the speakers, left and right, and front wall. You don't want anything in there. Stay away from all that. Resolution is achieved from predictability and consistency in treatment, rates and levels of absorption, distances, placement, surface area coverage, type, amount, position, lots of variables to consider. We don't want to make the situation worse by adding in all these resonances and reflections, right? Look at the front wall here. I'm sure it's not the same as the side walls and the rear wall. One could almost argue that if you're going to do something wrong, do it wrong to all the surface areas, at least the side walls. But that's not a, philo a philosophy we want to practice. Isn't music the goal? When I look at some of these photos in the setup, my thinking is I don't want to see the equipment. I want to just hear the music. You know, I want to wear a blindfold or close your eyes or whatever you want to do, but turn the lights down. I don't want to see the gear. I don't want to know their speakers there. I just want an open, airy presentation value to the whole system with no self-induced uh, shooting in the foot, so to speak. So you want to listen to the music without hearing the room. That's got to be the goal because that's the only way you're going to get resolution. So a lot of issues here that, that I wanted to point out. So this is our second in this series. We'll probably do 10. I think I have 10 to do in this series. So don't do this, number two. I hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.